Coming yeah. up next, we're going to have a matchup between the psychic Pokemon and the giant robot. The accessory. The, the accessory. We got a, a bleep blooping robot versus a... Uh, is Mewtwo talk? Did Mewtwo talk in this game? Uh, I'm pretty sure Mewtwo can't talk, but I don't think he's ever spoken English in Smash. I think in Japanese, he speaks Japanese, but in the English ones, he just... He's, like, mm. he's angry. All the time. Oh, but instead we are actually going to see Geo's Villager. I know he's been pulling him out a lot more recently. Yeah, he's been playing Villager a lot recently. I see it far more than his Rob at this point. Okay. Give him the stick. It's going to be uh, the Psychic Mewtwo against the only little boy in this game who isn't a Psychic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're actually correct. The only, only little boys are psychics. Right, except for, uh, I don't know, maybe Villager is a psychic. We'll see. Uh, I mean, with those reads, I would not be surprised. Uh, let's see if we Ooh. see any from Yo. Yeah, however, <laughs> Mew, Mew squared. Popping wow. just one balloon, saying be scared. Yeah, I feel like this matchup for Villager uh, isn't the best. Spike, but it doesn't matter because yeah. it's Villager. <laughs> it's Villager. Pops but, just one balloon, yet but, uh, again. I feel like it's, it's not the greatest since that... Um, Confusion throws right back to all the projectiles that can come out. That can throw back his forward air or back air. Yeah, it can throw out every projectile, so that's that's all of the um, villagers' kit. That's like 90% of villagers' moves <laughs> that he uses anyway. He's probably yeah. got more moves. Um, but yeah, uh, Gyo's going to be in a really bad position. That's what we're kind of seeing right now. Uh, Mew Squared has stage control, trying to pop these balloons, trying to take out this stock, getting an up air. He always needs to find a way back to the stage at this point. If he's able, if he gets knocked off the stage again, he's not going to be able to come back. Up throw? And that up was throw really kill. smart. Yeah, I think either back throw or up throw would have killed there. That so. was the perfect spacing for Mew Squad to just sit there and say, you're coming on stage with the fair, and I'm going to grab you. He was turned away from him. He knew how far he was going. Yeah, exactly. He just guessed, you're not going to do any wall, jump, wall hop back here shenanigans. Good trade with the down tilt, still able to convert into a forward air. Yeah, right now Mew Squared is doing a really good job of keeping himself grounded on stage and keeping Gyo in the air or off the stage. So Gyo has to try to play that how am I going to get back game while Mew Squared is playing that reactive, I have you where I want you. I mean, the second the villager is off stage, it's actually kind of really terrible for him to get back on. He doesn't have very many options to get back on the stage. And Mew Squared has covered all of them. Yeah, right there, really smart using a teleport to get back to the stage before that bowling ball can come out. Uh, Mew Squared not really giving Gyo a chance to breathe right now. Oh, Ooh, up till finally stick. taking That's it. That's the stick of truth right there. I twiddle my stick and you die. Okay. Playing the neutral, getting the grab, getting some stage control right now, keeping Geo out. Ooh, that was a terrifying down air, and he almost went for the bowling ball, but that back air rises. Wow, throws back the forward air, knocking him off the stage. You that got both the forward air and the Lloyd Rock. Right? Man, it's too oh, great spacing from Gil, missing that forward air, finally getting stage advantage for himself. However, eating another forward air, DIing it. Uh, I think he DI'd it inwards, uh, which actually killed him a bit sooner. He might have lived if he had DI'd it away and down. Uh, but that's going to be the first game to Mew Squared. Man, that... Yeah, that looks rough. That looks like a really rough matchup. But, that looks uh, like uh, Mewtwo has ledge options and uh, Villager did not. Between these two players, that's the way that it played out. Right now, they're going to Battlefield. He's given Villager a couple more spaces to move around, but I feel like this is a great stage for Mewtwo. This though. is a fantastic stage for Mewtwo, uh, the up cover. smash reaching through the platform. Yeah, he can cover so much space. Even with up tilt, just cover that whole platform. Yeah. He can do platform cancels with his teleport. Yeah, that tail uh, is phenomenal on this stage. I think this is actually Mew Squared's counter pick. So Gyo kind of giving him a hand here, but let's see how Gyo utilizes the stage to his advantage. Um, and I know he has such a tough time taking up that first stock. Let's see if he's able to take it a bit more easily. Okay. I mean, damage is looking pretty even, but you can still tell momentum is definitely in Mew Squared's favor. It's just Gyo getting some counter hits. Yeah. Uh, pretty even right now. Uh, Gyo uh, able to punish me square for trying to go for a down air twice off the stage. Uh, a couple more interactions like that, and Gyo be looking in a really good position. However, Mew Squared even allows him good tech Gets on the stage. Tried to follow it up with a down air. Into the down air on stage, though. Ooh, forward air right through the gyro. 
Oh, good spot dodge from Joe. Once again, teching the stage from that back air. Oh, Ooh. no tech coming out of Mew Square. And Geo ended up taking it off the first stock after playing on his back foot the whole way. But quick retort. He's uh, punishing that Lloyd Rocket pull. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be really careful about where he pulls that Lloyd Rocket because Mew Square has been consistently challenging it and punishing uh, Gyo. And one thing he's found out is that his forward air will just beat it out. If he hits if he hits Villager, the rocket just kind of explodes, but it doesn't do much to Mew Squared. Yeah, like forward air, down air, even like the tail. It just goes right through it. Right there, using jabs to gain, to retain stage control, going super deep. All right, this is a good position for Gil. Oh, however, unable to take advantage of it. I feel like Mew Squared had already grabbed the ledge. He could have just thrown a bowling ball. Yeah, exactly. Um, however, just at this percent, waited. he definitely would have died. But right now they're both back on stage. Uh, I think Mew Squared may be able to reflect, confuse the bowling ball. Wait, if he confuses the bowling ball, would it go upwards? I don't think so. I think it just falls as is. Oh, that was a really close situation. Gil almost lost his stock there to a downer. However, that neutral air beating out uh, the downer much faster. Uh, Gyo in a really good position, the exact opposite of the first game right now. 61% on himself. Uh, Mew squared at 111. Being the second lightest character in the game, just being um, having some breath on you could be the end of your stock. That said, Villager doesn't have the easiest of kill options to land. Most back of to kill with. I mean, he could probably get an up tilt and kill right now. Oh, or a back, back throw. throw. Yep. The missed edge cancel on that teleport led to that back throw. Right now, I mean, it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It was pretty close. The main thing that switched, like, totally threw the momentum of that game, U squared was ahead, and then he got stage biked after going for so many stage bikes against Geo. Yeah. I think well, he, he can just keep himself on the stage. If he just stays on the, on the stage, stop trying to contest Villager, because there's no reason to really contest Villager. Um, Gyo had his text on point last game. Uh, he'll be in a much better position. All he has to do is throw back projectile and then punish for him. Uh, there's no reason for him to constantly go off stage and challenge the best recovery in the game. That also has a wall jump. I think the only reason that he's doing it so often is because he wants to end the stocks of Villager more quickly. Uh, he sees Villager recovering with balloons, and he's like, I have a spike. I can just throw that out there. Really, he doesn't need to. He has so many strong on-stage kills that he can just use. He has an up-throw kill. He has back-throw at certain percents towards the ledge. He has his forward air. He has a, you know, be it a projectile. He has his projectile, the shadow ball, that can just kill people. He has his up smash. He has so many moves. Well, right now, the only moves I'm seeing are villagers because he's uh, racking up some percent. Yeah, definitely. 85% on me squared. Uh, dive from any smash attack from villager right now. Uh, probably not the up smash, however. Not sure. It's not the strongest. It's not the most strong back. Right now, Musgrave trying to look for a really solid read to end this stock, but I think uh, Gyo's pretty aware of those down airs coming out and him waiting for the down air to come out. Wow, rare moment there. <laughs> Gyo misspacing the rolling ball and it's landing on the stage. I don't think it would have made a huge difference because Mew Square definitely had invincibility right there. Yeah. Oh, back oh, air back coming air. out. 70% on Gyo. Gyo has done a complete turnaround from game one. Right now, though, Mew Squared has some stage control. Yeah, able to keep knocking Gyo off. And Finally, great Catch punish on that side. down air. 6% uh, on Mew Squared. He's in a good, he did a really good job. He didn't give Gyo a lot of extra credit, and now he's able to work himself back up. But, it, but he can't find himself in that same first stock situation that uh, just had. Because Gyo was able to take off that stock, and Mew Squared uh, does not want to be in a, a losing position right now. And in fact, right now he's in a winning position, got some extra damage, and he's continuing to rack it up because he has those solid confirms out of his count. That Nair is going to be a bit of damage for Gyo. All right, I'm going to get any more. Both characters kind of setting a neutral. However, Mew Squared going in, trying to reset with that uh, side B. However, missing it, keeps landing these forward airs. Gyo's going to need to space himself a bit better so he stops getting hit by these claws. Oh, he tried to end it there. He wanted to get that disable, and then he wanted to follow up with a really strong smash attack. Definitely forward smash attack close to the ledge. Ooh, but the forward airs. Once he was too close trying to throw out that slingshot. Yeah, and that's a that's a distance move. Trying to contest that close. I hate that's crazy. It just throws back the the forward air and the gyro. Man. 
All right. I mean, Geo's throwing the barn at him, and uh, Mew Squared is throwing it back. Yeah. Okay, good tag. Didn't get punished for it. Oh, almost runs right into that bowling ball, however. Mew Squared, shield. he's a really solid read right now, because there are no setups of this percent for him. He's a forward air or some smash attack. Or an up throw. Or an up throw. Or an up throw. And that will be it. So that's going to be that game. <laughs> he needs he needs a really solid up throw. <laughs> Smart stuff from you, Stuart, realizing that that was up throw with Copra Sense. Reading it, uh, reading uh, Gil's ledge get up uh, mm -hmm. and concealing the stock. I mean, that was just kind of like the theme of at least game one and then continued out through the rest of the match. Chio had a lot of trouble getting back on the stage once she was thrown off, which is why game two and when a new squared went off so much, it was kind of dangerous. He didn't have to go off as much. Uh -huh. He could have just waited. He had all the ledge options covered. That time, was able to seal it because he didn't get too aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Really smart play from uh, new squared. Really close set oh, for yeah. those players.